Oh my god, the last piece to the car to get it back on the road just arrived. This is the new Unitronic cable. So, if you guys are wondering what's so new and cool about the new Uniconnect cable, it now, as this slides open unwillingly, um, no longer needs to be boot flashed. So you don't have to rip your ECU out of the car. Now this won't, I don't know if that's for all cars. I just know that it works with the new one so you don't have to boot pin flash it anymore. You can just plug this new cable in instead of separating the ECU on the Mark VI and it'll flash it. Only disadvantage is right now, again, as I'm making this video, it does not flash the transmission. It only flashes the engine. So what I did is I hooked my old cable up. First thing I did is flash the engine to stage two, or sorry, not the engine, the transmission, DSG. So the TSU is now on stage two. Now I'm gonna go downstairs. I have to activate this cable and after I activate it, I can flash the engine because it, as I said, it won't flash the transmission quite yet, but they are working on an update. Again, by the time you watch this video, it might already be out with John and the team. So let's go and get this cable activated so I can get the car back on the road today. So first thing you want to do if you've, uh, this is the first Unitronic cable you've done, just make sure you go to this exact website on here and you might have to create an account so you can register your new cable. Your cable number, that is on here, and uh, put it in there. Now it's saying subscribe, newsletter. No, 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 I've already got all that. But yeah, you put your cable number in here to start the activation. So before you click download, what you wanna do is connect your cable. As you can see, I've got UniConnect Plus, and uh, I just opened it, that's all I did. And next, when it gets to the registration com or completing screen and it's going, go check your email. You'll see an activation request. Give it all the information you need. And then now we're going to log in. As you can see, downloading the latest software updates. We'll see where it goes after this. Now it's time to start the install. It'll pop up saying registration complete. You say, yay. Now download the software. You press OK. And then now we press next. I accept all your agreement even though it'll probably blow up my car create desktop icon install as you can see this is my old uniconnect one and then it will there's the new one that icon looks pretty close but that one looks better <laughs> that one actually just looks like it's like a little bit shorter and chubby and this one they've just cleaned up a tiny bit So, it says the setup was complete. We're going to open this up. UniConnect Plus. The only thing I might have to do, which you had to do with the old one, is turn the ECU on, but we will see. Ah, screw it. I'll just do it anyway, just to make sure. Here we go. Initializing. Hold your breath, kind of thing. I'm just going to let this kind of roll through. It's just checking everything out. Requesting banner. Oh, and let's put in our credentials. Once you put them in, it's going to detect the ECU. As long as you have an ECU, and this is the good thing, it should detect it. As long as my car isn't nuked. it's the first time reading this ECU so that's why it's doing that so there we go confirm Whew. wow look at the do screen this screen actually looks pretty baller compared to the old screen if you are wondering how all the old stuff looked you can always check out my UniConnect video this is the UniConnect plus so it's a little bit different let's do a performance engine flash Right now, my car is not even on stage one, so it's running real bad considering I have a KO4 in here, and driving it home from the dealership was painful. As long as this goes through, I'm doing good. 
processing ECU details. This cable does take a tiny bit longer, I've noticed, but that's fine. If it does more, then I'll happily do it. And it's reading the trouble codes because I obviously definitely have some saying like, hey, your math sensor and all this other fun stuff is going wrong. So see if it'll clear it or if I'll have to clear it first. Ambient air temperature circuit, mass airflow circuit, cooling fan, one control circuit. Okay, so these ones right here are because of probably my uh, accident because I lost all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a few things here. So let's just click next. And this is mine right here, stage two plus. There is a warning light for everything on this car. Yes, I agree. Now, if you're using a laptop, make sure it is firmly on like charging and all that other fun stuff. What it should do is it'll download the uh, update and then it'll flash it, so you shouldn't have to worry about like bad internet killing your ECU, but I highly suggest what you do is uh, make sure you have a good power source, because if it loses power at all, you'll probably have a mini heart attack. And it's always good to make sure you have a laptop for this, just because one, it's portable, and two, if you do it with a PC, and all of a sudden there's a power outage, you're gonna hate the entire neighborhood. Oh, and the ding, see how you have that service light going off? That means it's doing what it needs to do. So I'm going to let this flash. There's literally nothing we're going to do until the next step. So so there's a whole new step here. It made me take the ignition, turn it off, turn it back on, press ready. When I did that, my fan just started like going super fast. Let's see where this leads to. Kind of scary at first. I was like, wait, why is my ECU... <laughs> doing all these funny things oh my gosh so it says please switch the ignition off which I've done press next waiting for the ECU to fully power down now switch the ignition on and then off again press next Now switch the ignition on and press next. Detecting ECU. I guess this would be a bad time to figure out it doesn't detect your ECU anymore. I'm hoping it's charged. flash reading trouble codes the ECU has been successfully programmed turn the ignition off and press done oh yeah so, I guess the moment of truth and scary part is to start it. First I have to move some stuff around under the hood, and then I'll start the car. <laughs> 